Hello everyone, welcome to my weekly class to go. So my name is Michelle Pepper and I am an independent stamping up demonstrator in Auckland in New Zealand. So if you live in New Zealand then um, when you place an order with me this week um, by the end of Friday the 14th of July you'll be able to get the card kits for um, the projects that we're making today for free as a thank you gift from me. So all you need to do is place a qualifying order which is $40 or more and um, yeah and so by the end of Friday so that gives me the weekend uh, time to prep your car kits um, so that I can have them sent out to you on the Monday. All right, so um, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please do say hello and let me know where you're from and how you found me. So anyway, let's have a look at what we're making. So on page 61 of the current annual catalog, this is where you'll find the stamp set that I am using today in this weekly class to go. So it's called By My Side and it's one that is quite fun with these cute little characters um, but it also has a lot of nice sayings um, that uh, are just uh, lovely things to send to your friends and family just to let them know how much you appreciate them. Um, so yeah, I don't normally go for um, stamp sets that have characters like this but um, I thought I'll just, um, you know, get out of my comfort zone. If you follow my blog and my social media, you'll see this card that I have made um, that is cased, what we call cased from this project. All right, from this, um, this is actually a box, uh, but yeah, I'm just turning into a card here. So now the thing, if you um, have had time to read it in my blog, but um, what the thing that uh, caught my attention was how the concept artist for the catalogue, um, she has used two designer series paper here, like as in two, piece, two pieces of paper from two different sets of designer series paper, which I don't think I've ever done. Like I've mix and match from the same designer series paper, but um, not from two. So I thought that was interesting and I don't know why I've never done it before so I wanted <clears throat> to um yeah to do that so and that's what I've done here so this lemon lime twist um paper is actually from the bright and beautiful um bright and beautiful 6x6 DSP all right which has uh, 48 sheets of paper um in these beautiful colors and then then I'm match and I mix with the 2023 to 2025 in color um yeah DSP so I've used the pebble path um heart the 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 one with the pebble hearts pebble path hearts oh my goodness what a mouthful anyway so that's what I've done here so pretty much I've used the same layout and everything even used the same um ribbon which is wild wheat um I, I have just chosen to color the character the girl in um different color scheme because i actually have somebody in mind when i was doing this and um and i've used you did it um because it's relevant to why i'm giving her this card so and also by the way this was my attempt to make it look like an admiral um a red admiral yeah but uh, I don't know well anyway that's um, what I've come up with in place of this all right and like casing this so I've got that and then on Tuesday um, I've blogged about this card so I've used the three the girl uh, just use the one character here um, just the girl um, but if you notice, that one is facing the other way because your the stamp set comes in that direction. It's facing, um, <laughs> facing left, and I have had one that goes right. So the way to do this is if you uh, ink this up, and then you. 
I could probably demonstrate it here, which I wasn't intending to, but I will do that for me as well. Um, so what you do is you ink it up and then you put it on the silicone, stamp it onto the silicone and with then with your um, cardstock you just want to press it down to pick up the ink and then you get it the opposite way all right so that's how you um, so yeah so if you were to stamp it straight on you'll be getting one that looks that way and that's how you do the mirror image um, very easily with this silicone mat all right okay so let me put that aside um, I'm whoops trying to do that okay so there you go and that's how I've done this card um, again um, I uh, intend to give this card to um, two friends of mine and the three of us uh, have just um, yeah we're just cool friends you know and life is definitely better with friends like them so yeah so definitely going to send these to them so that's Monday and Tuesday and so now we get on to the class uh, what we're making today in this class all right so let me just put this aside and show you card number one is going to be this one so this is the third character which I haven't used in my samples so we've done that and done that the first one was this second and then now I'm going to do this one which is this right so in your card kits so these card kits as I have mentioned before are available to you um, if you live in New Zealand all right and you place an order with me this week um, by Friday so all your card kits will come with envelopes uh, stamping up envelopes are lovely to use and I love it so in this um, so it will have everything pre-cut for you um, except it doesn't have stamp images just because I'm not allowed to do that uh, by stamping up's policy all right so very simply what we need to do here is we've got a, a blueberry bushel card base and I'm just going to use my bone folder and just kind of whoops just made a mark there but you won't be able to see that so that's cool and then that is just a layer of basic white um, right just going to put this glue glue this down I mean um, can't multitask sometimes <laughs> and do things and talk at the same time uh, do you have that problem anyway so that's blueberry bushel basic white for the inside and the lemon lime twist is exactly the same size and that's just going to go in the middle here and um, kept it nice and simple we're just doing it in uh, one layer here I mean they're not raised they're not on dimensional. Uh, it's a really nice contrast in color. Blueberry bushel and lemon lime to us. Um, so is that your cup of tea? I am not sure, but um, I do like it. I do quite like the, the, the big contrast. Okay, and then that. So these papers, um, your kit might have different ones, okay, because they are all coming out of the bright and beautiful card kits so um, yeah you could be getting different designs so like that one that's the squiggles um, and then this one is the star that I'm using and then I'm just oh I can use that too but there's a lot of white on here um, so it's like the whole ombre gradient which is quite cool but I won't use it for this card right and then that just goes on here yeah just kind of wanting to give this a little bit of a instead of you can put it directly you know like right onto the edge but i want it to have a bit of green showing on both sides 
and then lastly we've got these that will go on here all right so i am going to be using the same um, for this card thank you for being a part of my life um, and it's just so cute with the dog and the boy so i'm going to use a clear emboss right so i'm oh, sorry not clear emboss white embossing powder okay so let's have a look i'm just gonna pull in we don't need this necessary it's not necessary but i like using my foam mat um and so wait i'm gonna need this don't i whoops i need my versamark ink watermark stamp pack and just tap lightly on here firmly and lightly and right here so you can't see it just kind of so I haven't exactly done it straight but I think I can get away with that okay um, let's just get that covered up and put away right and then sorry about this it's going to be a bit loud Have a look i think they're pretty all melted yeah so that's good so we can use that just get put those things away um and then i will just use my scissors to cut this so i'm going to kind of gauge that mm, maybe like so and let's kind of go with the the P and the Y there is my guide right so pretty happy with that right and then um, you can see that I have bannered here. There is um, a bannered, made a little arrow. So you cut a slit in the middle, kind of eyeballing it. And then from the corner to the slit, and from the other corner to the slit, and that will give you a nice banner. Okay. And so that will go like that somehow. Um, actually maybe cut this smaller all right so I'm gonna get rid of these now there's one more stamping to do which is the middle here um, and I am using the dog and the boy so I'm just going to now I'm doing it this way because <clears throat> well can't really see and it's kind of odd shape right that way so I'm just doing I just found it easier finds I find it easier doing it this way all right so let's do it and then I'm just gonna quickly half on it right and then I'll put my little guy here just firmly and hopefully I haven't actually got ink I didn't check before I put it down that I haven't got ink on the outline. Um, it's pretty good. Yep, pretty happy with that. So I've got this little guy here. And then, so that will go layered onto that. 
and then on here all right now at this point we can be creative and i don't know what do you think i might do it this way for this card which might irk some of you because it's not all straight and tidy okay <laughs> and then now so with this card i have used um, with my original one i have used stamping blends to color them so but i wanted to show you the difference um, if you use watercolor pencils instead so i've got the two um this is the old one it's been um this this one has been updated with the color refresh because there are some colors here that have retired um, which I could probably should take out so I don't get confused. Nope, right, that one's there. Bermuda Bay is out, Pacific Point's out, and um, Rich Razzleberry is out. So these four are not available anymore. Sorry, these three can't count, but I can use everything here. So, um, and also these watercolor two pencils assortment too that is as it is you can buy this as it is um let's have a look which one is my early espresso i think i'll do my early espresso so i'm going to show you the difference because that is actually is that i think that's early espresso and then i'm going to color it in with um let's move this aside. i don't want the foam when i'm coloring because I might just cut through it. So the difference between the blends and the pencils, right? Obviously, a big difference. So you get different look. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like. It's got brown here. Now, I think I'm going to use my pad. It's picking up. I don't know if you can tell it's picking up the grains that is on my surface okay so um it's a watercolor pencil you can leave it as it is just coloring it and with that um, but then you can also then bring in the, your um, water painter. I'm just going to wet it. But I don't want it too wet because I've actually got it on basic white paper here. And then you can just very lightly hope you can tell in the, um, from the video. Just done that look so you've got that look and then with the face I'm actually not sure what color I should use with the color pencils um, what color is that Cajun craze kind of like doesn't feel like there is a proper color that's a flirty flamingo, which seems very pink. I don't want a pink face. I could leave it white, white face. So maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Uh, maybe I do have to use my blends after all. So um, now I have been using for the blends um, the colors that I'll show you in the second card that I use all these three so there is the um, petal pink the light petal pink the ivory and then the bronze I have used all these three for coloring faces so let me see I think I might just go for which one petal pink yep that's what I've done there actually I think so let's see if I do it with with a um I oh know ivory I think that's the ivory color that I've used Let's 
see. I love using the blends. It's very forgiving. <laughs> All right, so, okay. I've got that, and then I will do the hand arms as well. And then legs. Okay, I do believe it is different color to that one. So this, this one here is petal pink I believe or unless it's the same um, and then with the shirt I am going to go back to the watercolor pencils because I'm showing you the difference um, what have we got here night of navy which is the same color that that's what I use for this but I use the light one so very trendy to have white shoes I believe so I'm leaving uh, this little guy here wearing white shoes as well like the other one I mean if I change my mind later I can just add in the color all right so white shorts and um, white shoes Okay, so that's coloring in with watercolor pencil. All right, and then with the doggy, let's have a look. What color can I use? Um, I'll go for Cajun Craze just because I can. All right, that's not Cajun Craze. Where's my Cajun Craze? There, Cajun Craze. All right, and then. Those little marks here, I guess it's to show that the well, doggy wagging its tail. Very cute. Now here I have just left a little white mark. Because um, often, you know, dogs have different markings. Um, I don't know, shall I do the same here? Maybe just a list. Not doing it. <laughs> I'm going to get the nose as well. And now I'm going to come back with this water So this is basic watercoloring, um, but it still feels really cool. I still feel like I'm watercoloring. <laughs> So if you're a watercoloring expert, you can show me some grace, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and there you go. So I've got my card with that look. I don't know if I can do some shading. I've not actually tried it before. Let's try early espresso. Ooh. I can do that. I can give it a bit of shading. I don't know what you think of that. Just adding some water. There you go. It's got a little dog with some markings. That's cool. All right. So I am just going to probably putting these all in the wrong 
wrong parts, but that's okay. So, so I can clear some space. All right, I've got it here. And I am this time going to play around with this. Because we know what it looks like when it's nice and straight. And I'm just going to give it a bit of wonkiness. Wonky donkey. Right, so you might love this or you might not. Okay, and then finally I have this to add in and I could add in this way or that. I think I'll do that. Um, so I'm going to use the ends of these. Do I need that long? I'm going to cut that bit off. Right. Gonna use that down the bottom there mainly and the top is gonna to be glued on because it's got layers there. Alright, so card number one, done. What do you think? One that is straight for those who love their things straight. And then the other one is for wonky. Sometimes those of us who love things straight but can't get things straight, then the easiest thing to do is actually intentionally do them wonky donkey. And then you're not going to feel bad. Um, it's not going to bug you that it's not straight. Well, that's my thinking. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Card number one. Okay. Card number two. Are you ready? This is card number two. So I've gone for a cool, fun um, kind of card. Right, oh, I haven't even glued that on, but yes, it's there for me to glue that on. All right, so I'm going to do that. All right, so nice and simple. So there's not many layers to this, and there's these little um, dots as well, so don't lose that. I'm going to put that aside here for now. Um, now, so we need our... We need this, right, so that's our card base, which is Coastal Cabana. And then we have a layer of white. It's my choice of, um, for glue is the Tombow Multipurpose Liquid Glue. I love using that. Team Green Blue. Okay, so that's nice and easy. Right, then now this is the only bit now that you need to uh, do a whole lot of stamping. Um, just need to be a bit careful when you are using this for stamping. So... I'm going to take all three characters. Right, this time I'm going to use all the three characters and I'm going to stamp around it. Now with this one, um, I think I meant to actually stamp the other way so that this is the bottom. But I realize after I have stamped my words that I've done it wrong. So I'm going to attempt to do that on the bottom right here. Okay, so 
getting my memento ink. Right, I'm just going to ink it up. Probably don't need to ink up the whole thing because it's not showing. Not the whole thing is showing. So move this up a little bit. And I want that around about here with my bird. I think. Going to do it. And hope. I forgot to check again. Yes, great. No outline showing. <laughs> so we've got that. Um, so we've got the lady. So I'm just going to pretend. going to put it upside down so I know. That's what I'm doing. So then I'm going to have my boy here. His head around here. Right. And then. So kind of going to stick that one down here. Right, everything's gone down a little bit further and over here I have my girl with the curly hair love it and then with the butterfly so kind of down here oh great so we've got that and so that's what you do, you just kind of go around, all right, and then um, and then you also stamp your word. Now, let's demonstrate stamping words. I'm going to line it up with my grid paper, so that that gives me a bit of a, um, guide, and then I'm going to do Thank you for being a part of my life. So I'm going to do that right at the bottom here. That's, I'm kind of lining it up against, I'm eyeballing it. So not measuring it and all that. Just going to do it here. Right, thank you for being a part of my life. And then the middle saying is life is better with friends like you. Just gonna line it up this time with that one maybe. Don't overthink it. Right. This is looking good. <laughs> Let's hope I don't stuff it up with the final. Um all right, so just making sure that there is no outline because Right, and then this time I'm going to be lining up with that, but maybe a bit higher. Right, just there. Woohoo! Great stuff. Oh, I think I did get some outline. That's okay. We can hide it with um, gems, which is what I have done here. There were markings here and here, I think it was. And so I had to hide it with my gems. So... Pretty much that's what we do. I'm not going to go through it all because I want to save a bit of time. But I wanted to show you um, colouring with the blends. Alright, so let's have him, let's have the blondie guy this time. I've used Light Daffodil Delight. So simple, so lovely. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna give this girl red hair with Calypso Coral. Curly hair girl with the black. This is the light black. It's 
So these images are really fun to colour. And then the faces. Um, so I'm going to show you using the bronze. You get that color. And the petal pink, that one there. You can do it for okay. And then ivory. Alright, that's how you do it. Um, the birds and the butterfly. What colour shall we use? Um, let's have a look. Let's have a fun, I don't know, maybe a fun green butterfly. And then maybe a lighter blue. Um, bird, bluebirds. Okay, so basically that's what you do. You just stamp right around. Um, you know all your all your characters, and then you color them. All right. So, um, because I can, I pre done it. All right. So, yeah. Again, I've made a mistake here. <laughs> Because I stamped the wrong, yeah, so anyway. But I'm glad I got this third one. I can even leave it at that, right? But I'm just going to do that later. But ta-da, this is the end result. And then um, we just need to glue, as you can see. It's like double-sided. So the first side, I obviously made some mistake. Um... I don't know, I can't remember what mistake I did there. Uh, so, where's my card? Right here. So, then, oh, nearly did a mistake again, upside down. Right, so always check. Yeah, it's opening the right way. And you just need to glue that down. Rightio. Oops. I think I got glue somewhere. There. Too much glue there. Okay. But there is card number two. Um, although I do want to add the gems. Okay. In there. Um, I'm going to stick with the light blue, right? Because that was what I it came in this card kit. And your card kit will be the blue. Move that aside. Move these away. Out of the way. Okay, so shall I do the same? I really quite like that wasn't planned, the placing for those, um, but they work quite well. So I think we'll just stick with that. Why don't we? Yeah. And then a little one. And big one, kind of over here, and a little one. Yeah, it's just fine. It's easier to pick it up with. Um, you take your pick tool. Okay. 
this is darker than that too by the way eh? you can tell right about here we're kind of having some sort of triangle um, and you will have X two little two piece oh I can't get this off even with this so we kind of like have some sort of triangle happening like three here and three there and you'll have two extra pieces okay but that is card number two so if I move that aside um, then you can see the two cards here right so that's with the lighter gems and that's with the darker dots and that's card number two and then card number one what's this all right and that is a wrap we have completed our two cards for this class to go now so remember uh, these card kits are available to you if you live in new zealand um, all you have to do is place an order with me this week and i will um and use my host code actually because then i then that lets me know that you are wanting these card kits and um, so you'll get two card kits for this card and two card kits for this and um, to complete and make the same cards you will need the um, by my side stamp set which is over here code number 159006 and that's the card that, uh, the stamp set that you'll need otherwise I think you can easily replace with other stamps that you have and it might not be characters it might be flowers um, you know and it might be something else like it might be animals okay so yeah so I um, thank you very much for joining me today and um, I will see you again next week